What's going on, guys? Um, just wanted to, to say hello again. And, um, you know, the, the fair rolled into town uh, last weekend. And, uh, you know, everybody's been getting down to the fair. And you know, it's kind of crazy because, you know, when I was thinking about what goes on at the fair, it, it's, it's almost as though, you know, we go to the fair or we go to amusement parks. Uh, we go to these places where these roller coasters and these, these rides are and, you know, we pay for emotional insecurity and we like it. We like getting on rides and uh, we, we, we like what they, what, how they make us feel. They make us feel insecure even though, you know, we got these big bars and straps holding us in. So we got a pretty good idea that we are secure, but when the ride gets going, Boy, our feelings begin to tell us a different story. You know, one of my um, one of the rides that I still haven't rode and don't know that I ever will is the Doctor Doom ride at um, Islands of Adventure. It's a ride that, that takes you up and then uh, then drops you straight down. And yeah, you know, I I can ride just about any roller coaster, but I can't do that one because I don't like the feeling and the insecurity of, of falling. And um, you know, it's like we chase after this feeling. We chase after this feeling of being unsafe. You know, um, we go to great lengths. I mean, there are people who jump out of airplanes. Um, and, and they get this adrenaline rush. And, and they like the feeling of, of, of being unsafe. Sometimes, just in life, um, we get like that, don't we? We, we get mixed up in all this worry and, and, and all this stress in our lives. And, you know, it, you could be a, a, an air traffic controller or you can be, you know, a policeman or you can be in the military or you can just work at your local homeless ministry. Uh, but no matter where you are, you deal with worry and you deal with stress. And, you know, we get all super spiritual. We can say, oh, you know, I give it all to God. But, I mean, do we really? Do we really give it all to God? I mean, maybe we give we give what we think He can take care of, and then we keep what we think we can take care of. You know, and it builds up, and it builds up, and it builds up. And, uh, you know, stress and worry are like a roller coaster of life. It's as if we're willing to pay the cost to deal with stress and worry and the feelings that, that stress and worry bring up. Um, and... You know, Jesus hits the nail on the head when talking uh, talking to his disciples. Listen, um, Matthew chapter 6, um, verses, uh, really starting in verse like 25, but I, I, I want to start in verse 31. He says, don't worry and say, what will we eat, what will we drink, and what will we wear? The people who don't know God keep trying to get these things. And your Father in Heaven knows you need them. The thing you should worry most is about God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. Now here's the key. Listen to this next verse. This last verse, verse 34. It says, don't worry about tomorrow because today will have its own worries. Each day has enough trouble of its own. You know... <laughs> We can get all caught up on the roller coaster of life and, and worrying about where we're going to be in two days, two weeks, two months, two years, ten years. Is our 401k going to last us? Are, are we going to have enough money and social security to retire? We've got all these things that we, that we worry about and yet God's word says, hey, seek me and don't worry about those things. I'll get them for you. You know, I, I got uh, I got a message uh, from a, a good friend of mine, and she told me she kind of kicked all this off this 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 whole roller coaster thing. Um, she she told me that she felt like her life was on a her life was like a roller coaster on its way to hell. And you know, I, I've been thinking about that statement and thinking about this whole idea and thinking about the fair and thinking about these things for the past couple of days. And you know what? If you feel like your life's on a roller coaster straight to hell, but you know you're a Christian, praise God. 
Because get this, right? If you know Jesus, okay, if, if you've been born again and, and, and you feel like your life's on a roller coaster straight to hell, I want you to listen very closely to this. Earth, for you, Christian, is the closest to hell that you will ever experience. Now, there's a flip side to that coin. Okay, because for you non-Christian, for you non-believer, for you who are not born again, earth is the closest to heaven that you will ever experience. You see, if, if you're not a believer, be, you may be living it up because there's going to come a day. And if, you, if you're watching the news and you're watching all that's going on, you know it's, it can be soon. There's going to come a day when things are going to get worse for you. But if you're a believer, if you're born again, let me encourage you in this. Let me encourage my friend who kicked all this off. This is, this is the closest to hell that we'll ever get. It's like we're on that roller coaster and we're getting those feelings of insecurity and those feelings of worry. But if we concentrate on those bars holding us tight, the arms, I don't know if you've heard the song, um, hold on to the arms that are holding on to you. I mean, if, if, if we lock on to the arms that are holding us, well, we're, the, we're, we're experiencing now the worst that we could ever experience this side of, of heaven. You see, listen, listen to Romans um, 8.18, okay? Romans 8.18 says this. This, this is the key for you. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. You know, so, we, so we take a look at all the, the, the worry and all the stress. And, and Matt, going back to Matthew chapter, uh, chapter 6, if, if we stay focused, on the kingdom of God and, and what, what he's doing and what he wants us to do. I'm not telling you that your life's going to be peachy can. I'm telling you that God will provide the things that you need. And uh, you can you can lay your, your burdens uh, down at his feet and, uh, you know, he will give you rest. You know, it doesn't always make things better. But, but life is like a roller coaster. You know, it, it, our emotions drive us up and they drive us down. But, uh, if we stay focused on the one constant in our life, which is Jesus Christ, then we know that no matter what we go through, it's only going to get better. It's going to get better soon. So, we have to go through a little bit of suffering to get to that glory that's going to be revealed in us. All I can tell you, my friend, who started this off, is hold on to our safety bar. Hold on to that safety bar when you feel unsafe, when you feel insecure, when you feel your emotions are driving your world nuts. Get back to what, what, what holds you safe. Jesus. I love you guys and uh, I'll talk to you later.